What's going on everybody? I'm back. Got a got a little something for you. I haven't been on for a little while and just got something in the mail today. And if you're a chili head, you know about it. And and if you've been more been a chili head for more than a year, you know about the one I did about this time last year. What I got tonight <clears throat> White Lightning, the Chaco Challenge. This is warning, stupid spicy. And uh, as far as I know, uh, well, from what I've seen, you know, when somebody puts like stupid hot or whatever on their uh, sauces or salsas, it's usually coming from Ed Curry from Pucker Butt. And <clears throat> uh, the back of the box right here says a marriage between good plus evil. The Chaco Challenge is for the pain-seeking masochist who wants to join the fight to end hunger, but also has no regard for their own well-being. Because usually when you eat something like really crazy hot, um, you're not going to be hungry for a while because you're going to be dealing with cramps. And that's usually how you know when the cramps are over with is when you're hungry again. That's what I've heard. Our second iteration is fired up by an insanely spicy, unreleased 12-pepper blend exclusive to the Chaco Challenge. Contains no extracts. And when you're dealing with uh, like pepper powders and stuff like that and chocolate, you don't really need them. When you get uh, the Nemesis bar that's got about 30 Reapers ground up into it, or Roger Trier's bites that have about four Reapers ground up into the, the bites, you don't really need an extract. It's going to wreck you at one some point or another. Hand selected to pair with white chocolate, our unreleased 12 pepper blend comes from mad scientist Smokin' Ed Curry's secret garden of devilish delights, known as, also known as P Pucker, Pucker Butt Pepper Company's testing grounds for de developing the world's hottest peppers. Visit chocochallenge.com for more info. And um, I don't know if it says it on here, but from what I understand, the chocolate is actually produced by uh, Brian Chirapi from Wooly Pete's Chocolate. And and I thought I recognized it last year when I did it. And I'm not too familiar with his white cho white chocolates. It's not something that I eat all the time. I've done the, done the bites, and I like those. Uh, do not eat if you have any allergies to spicy foods, nightshades, or capsaicin. Keep away from children. And do not consume if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, or have a medical condition. If you get burned up, try eating some bread or drinking some milk. You can eat at your own risk, you maniacs. And just to let you guys know, I got a little one in the house. And um, she was th thumbing through the fridge earlier and and brought out this little square of chocolate. She's like, Dad, can I have this? Because I want to start eating hot food. Well, little did she know it was the last remaining square of nemesis that I had. And I was like, no, you're not having that. And I'm not doing it tonight either because I've got too much stuff to do to suffer cramps that much. But then I'm doing this. I don't know how uh, much different it's going to be. But we're going to go ahead and open it. They have a, a card that comes with it. And it says, for every bar purchased, Fuego Box donates 50 meals to local food banks to end hunger. Uh, enter to win a year of hot sauce. One, eat it. Attempt to eat the entire bar of chocolate. And two, film it. That's what we're doing right now. First take. It's, it's rolling. Uh, take a video or photo of yourself trying to eat it. Terrible sweet pain waits. And three, share it. Post it on your social media and it gives you uh, the places to tag. Fuego Box, Feeding America, Choco Challenge 2020. We can only see public profiles. Gotcha. So, I just had dinner. Got a little bit of stuff. Something, something on my stomach. As far as I know, this is the first time I've tried this. Okay, the uh, label on the inside says exactly the same thing that the the, uh, this does. It says, you must be insane to consume this pain. Now, last year, I kind of messed up because I was just thinking ahead and said, you must be 18. Well, yeah, but no, you must be insane to consume this pain. Last chance to turn back. 
Got the little skull thingy there. Doesn't look that big, but you know, I was at the uh, the Chai Town Hot Sauce Fest uh, Expo last summer, and they had a a challenge of eating these, and they said the problem was just getting the things open. Because you spent half of your time trying to get them open. Just scoot in a little bit here. And it, it looks like uh, Willie's white chocolate. Because if you've had the white chocolate Moab, it turns yellow. Because there's so many peppers in it. Yep. Smells like good white chocolate. You can see, oh, there's a lot of pepper in there. Focus, focus. Nice screenshot for you there. All right. And it's not real thick. It's only about maybe an eighth inch thick. I haven't done too many spicy things things lately as far as like challenge type stuff goes but anyway guys go check this out it's for a good cause and uh, right now you know the grocery stores are running out of food um, a lot of it's because of vendors not so much people hoarding get you over here three two one That's a smooth white chocolate. It's got some heat, let me tell you. It's tasty though. Nice little pepper blend. Couldn't tell you what's in it though. It's just melting. Got some pepper flakes in there. There's the hiccups. Oh, excuse me. Hiccup and burp at the same time. Excuse me. Excuse me. Not as hot as Nemesis. <clears throat> But it's good. It's got a good flavor. Got a nice lingering tongue burn. 641. It's all it's all it's all flakes right now. Um, I got a couple of the Willie Pete's bars to kind of nibble on because I wanted to do the Moab challenge and and my my tummy's just not not feeling it right now. I did a couple squares of the Kimberlin, which is pretty much the same heat level, and yeah, I don't know if I'm when if or when I'm going to do the Moab. Oh. I think the hiccups are gone already. Ever so slight trickle in the nose. I know it's going to hit the gut later on because white chocolate usually is pretty, it's a little bit more intense than dark chocolate. Let's see if I can get this thing folded back. There we go. But yes, uh, Fuego Box, Willie Pete, good job on this. Uh, 
I think Roger Trier's got a few of them that he's going to do. And there's a, there's a few others in the community that are um, going to do them. I think uh, uh, Peppers in Kentucky Living's got a few that he's going to do. I'm not sure when or if he's posted it already. I haven't seen it. So far, I'm good. The problem with last year's was... Sorry, I got a little bit of junk in my beard. Problem with last year's is uh, I handled the heat just fine from here up, but the, about an hour or so later, it started hitting me right in the chest. Uh, I would say, judging by the uh, Kimberlin square that I had last night, just, just a little bit hotter. It says created and distributed by Fuego Box LLC, Los Angeles, California. So I'm not necessarily seeing anything by Willie Pete. But he did make them last year. Not, not the white chocolate, but... So don't quote me on that. I think I probably peaked out about a four. Got a few hiccups. Sorry. A few hiccups, a little trickle from my nose, no tears. Just all tongue burn. And this one right here, it's kind of pushing me out of the, the comfort level. Uh, it's, it's a little bit hotter than what I would just sit and, you know, snack on. But guys, I will post this to YouTube, do all the tagging, and uh, probably let you know in the comments section somewhere down there below uh, what happens later on. Uh, just ate dinner, had a small glass of milk. I've been experimenting with orange juice too. Just kind of being a nerd, seeing what, kind of, what helps deal with the cramps a little bit more. Because they said the acidity from orange juice kind of helps neutralize some of the pain. But not really in any pain right now. Cheers. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking me out again. Uh, hit the subscribe, the ring the bell. It's over there somewhere. You all know where it is. <sighs> Trying to think if there's anything else. Check them out. Buy one, two, maybe. Probably could have handled two of them. I don't know about how, how it would have felt down here, but it seems like it hits everybody a little bit different. But um, definitely not the first person online to do this, but they're coming. People are getting them in, doing the reviews. Check them out. Thanks for watching, guys.